Hi students, welcome. Here we are going to study about polygon law of forces. So here suppose this is a particle O. On this particle there are more than two forces are acting. So these forces suppose we are taking force P1, force P2, force P3, force P4 and force, force P5. These are the concurrent forces which are acting on the particle O okay and these particles are these forces are acting on this single particle okay and these forces are going away from the particle as you can see here these all forces are concurrent forces because their line of action meet at a single point that is in this case point O okay and this point o is called as point of concurrency okay point of concurrency so now we will understand here how to get the resultant by drawing the polygon by using these forces suppose so here we are going to draw this is the point o that is particle o we are taking this particle o here as you can see here this is our particle O. Okay. Now this force P1 force is a straight line, horizontal line. We will draw the this straight line as you can see. And this is point O. We will give it name as A. Okay. And this is our force P1. Okay. Now we will draw. We will go in the this direction. Okay. In the same direction. We will take all these forces in this direction. Okay. So now we uh, we are drawing this force okay we will maintain this angle as it is so, uh, we will draw this p2 force by the end point of the p1 force from the end point of the p1 force in the same direction and in the same angle i am going to take it approximate angle okay so here this is our p2 force and here we are going to give it a name as B and this is our P2 force okay now similarly we will draw P3 force here so from the end point I am taking this P3 force okay here it is uh, this is our P3 force and this point we are going to give a name as C okay and this is our P3 force okay now second fourth is our p4 force going in this direction so i am drawing this like this okay this is our suppose we are taking this point as d and this is our p4 4 force and next is our p5 force in this direction okay so this is our another point we are going to give it a name as E and this is our P5 force okay so we have drawn these all forces so as you can see these are all forces are in the same order as you can see they are um, acting away from the point O that is particle O okay so as you can see all are in the same direction or in the same order okay now we will close this polygon by another line okay but the line the order of this line will be in opposite direction okay like this these are this is the direction of all forces and this is the direction of the closing side of this polygon and we are taking it in opposite order and this line that is line oe is called as resultant okay so here see it here the, these forces are acting on the point okay simultaneously and when we draw this all lines all forces it forms a polygon okay forms a polygon and their closing side is 
we when we take in opposite order then it is called as resultant this closing side is called as resultant we will see now definition here to understand better see polygon law of forces states that if a number of concurrent forces acting simultaneously on a particle be represented in magnitude and direction by the sides of a polygon taken in order okay as you can see here i have taken we have taken here all forces these are the these forces represents the side of the polygon and these are in the order in order okay in this order okay then their resultant is represented in magnitude and direction by the closing side of the polygon taken in opposite order as we have taken here this closing side okay and this closing side is in opposite order and it is called as resultant as you can see here this is our resultant okay now we will join these two point two point two points okay here o b we will join and here we will join these two points okay so here magnitude of ob we can calculate so here ob vector is equal to oa vector plus ab vector this gives us a value of ob vector okay so here again same next is our this line that is this vector that is uh, ec so ec vector is equal to all these forces uh, we need to plus here add we can call it so here oa vector plus ab vector plus here bc vector but here we have oa and plus ob sorry oa plus ab is equal to ob so here this becomes ob vector plus here bc bc vector okay this gives us this terms will give us the value of ec vector so now here if we want to calculate r here that is oe vector so here oe vector is equal to we will have here r okay resultant so it is equal to p1 plus p2 plus p3 plus p4 plus p5 this addition we will after adding the all forces we will get here resultant r so now we can draw, write down this as oe vector is equal to oa vector plus ab vector plus bc vector plus cd vector plus here cd vector plus here we have now de vector okay now see here oe vector is equal to oa plus ab vector we have here ob vector we have taken it then ec vector is equal to oa plus ab plus bc from this we will we have got here ob vector plus bc vector so we can combine all these vectors and oa ob oa ab we have here okay as we have here ob vector okay and bc this oa ab and bc we have here all together here another term that is here ec vector plus now here cd vector plus de vector okay from that we will get here the oe vector so now here this r is equal to ec vector okay plus here cd vector plus de vector okay now see here important thing this this represents that we will fulfill this we have proof 
we have got proof here from that from this equation we have got proof for this r is equal to p1 plus p2 plus p3 plus p4 plus p5 okay as you can see here this forms another a uh, single polygon okay from that we got here this value closing side is this from second we have considered this polygon this here this is the closing side okay now at last we uh, taken our whole polygon that is this one and uh, so got here we we got here r and this is the proof of getting this is the this is the proof of getting this r resultant r is equal to p1 plus p2 plus p3 plus p4 plus p5 okay so students in this video we have understood about polygon law of forces thank you students for watching this video like share and comment for this video and subscribe my channel thank you